Friends, whether you've been commuting to the office through the pandemic, you're just going back, or you're still on the couch, it's a safe bet you might work with some people who are just plain annoying. We are exploring a few of the jerks you might have to deal with and how to handle them. Coworkers can often make or break a job. One of the main reasons why people are leaving jobs is because they just don't want to deal with toxic coworkers and difficult bosses. We spoke with author of Jerks at Work, Tessa West, to learn types of toxic colleagues and how to handle them. First, the bulldozer. They're the person who just takes up the most time and space. They don't have a sense of how long they're speaking. They don't really care if they interrupt people. They also do a lot of work behind the scenes. And if you find yourself on a group where nothing is getting accomplished, chances are you have a bulldozer who's actually going behind your back complaining about the group to the boss or the boss's boss and they're shutting things down. To cope with these folks, figure out of where they're actually doing their behind the scenes work and then immediately talk to that person as a group to kind of clear up discrepancies in what they think is going on in the team and what actually is going on in the team. Next, the credit stealers. Someone who you consider a friend, a confidant, even a boss who's eager to hear your input. They wait for all of your good ideas to come out and then when you're not around, they steal credit for them. A way to prevent credit stealing. Learn to have what social scientists call voice at work. So this is when you speak up and you say something interesting, the people in power listen to you. And in order to gain that voice, you have to learn what types of strategies are the most effective for people who speak up. What do the bosses like to hear? What's convincing to them? It's very hard for someone to steal credit because your ideas are much stickier. People attribute them to you and not to your potential credit stealer. Our final jerk at work, the neglectful boss. Most neglectful bosses kind of have two speeds. They neglect, but then what happens is they kind of panic. Right when you're about to submit that report or get your project done, they freak out because they haven't been in the loop. They actually take the form of a micromanager in short little bursts. The most difficult part for people dealing with these folks is the uncertainty. One way to re-engage a neglectful boss. Come up with just very structured meeting times that are short. If you can squeeze it in in 15 to 20 minutes, you're much more likely to get them to be engaged with you. We're keeping the jerks at work off our back thanks to these tips.